Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I want to do a sort of quickish video about these two SLGs or little little mini bags. And if you want a more in-depth review of each bag, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make one. But I thought they're little bags and not too much to talk about, so we'll go through it and um, if you really want a more in-detail one, we can do that too in another video. So let's start off with these two bags and I have to be very, very honest, I don't remember their exact names because it's been a while that I've got them. I think I've got them about four years now, if I'm not wrong. And this is almost, I think, back in like pre, like during or pre-COVID time, somewhere around there. So this bag is a small mini tall pouch bag. I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called, but I'll put the name down the um, description box below when I find the name of this bag. And it's in this light pink color that you can't really see the true color on camera because it's appearing as almost peachy, peachy orangey color on camera that I can see here, but it's actually pink. It's actually light pink and it's got this brownish tone to it. Don't know if you can see or if it's come up on the camera accurately but I got this in an impulse so I was buying a pink classic flap and that was my dream bag and during that season there was like lots of lots of pink stuff I'm pretty sure it was 22 s was the season and my essay was just like do you want this we've got it available I was like oh geez that looks really nice and i was like but i really don't need this do i really want this do i really want to spend money and this bag was not cheap it was like i would say four thousand dollars i think so it's definitely not cheap and i thought you know what it's so hard to get a pink bag i was on high just like screw it i'll get it and you know what i have not regretted it i've actually used it quite a bit and a lot of times I've used it for dinner events and little weddings too. And I'm, I'm not the person that, you know, have these rules about fashion of what you can can or cannot wear in weddings. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about all oh, these bags are not for weddings, they're not classy or not for dinner. I don't really care. I like what I wear. I want to wear what I wear. So I have not regretted this at all. Now this bag has a really long chain and if you open it up, it opens this way, there's two zippers, there's no feet as you saw before, no back pocket, it's caviar leather and light pink and light gold sort of champagne hardware and that's the rings at the top and that's where the chain comes out and the zipper and that's the dust bag that it comes with and that's the card. The authenticity card before the chips came out, made in Italy, and that's the long chain. And obviously, you can pull out the other way and use it. And that's pretty much all it is in the bag. There's nothing much in it at all, but you know, you can put quite a bit of stuff. It's pretty tall. So, if I Normally, because I bring it to a wedding or, so, or just like a small outing and stuff where I don't need a lot of stuff, all I do is my wallet and a lipstick and a packet of tissue, which I don't have, and then that's it. And I can close it for you to see. Let's just pull this out so that it doesn't get zipped in. There you go, like that. And... I really use it very often. Maybe having a feet would be a good idea, but if you ever see one of these again and you're a mini bag person where you don't really bring much at all and all my actual essential, like essential stuff is on my phone, um, then you, this is actually quite helpful. And you know, all my cards and all my everything that I need is on my phone. So I don't really don't need much of what I need here. And that's all that it is, simple and nice. And I really love it. Now, this other bag here is also a mini bag during the Pearl Crush era, as you would have recognized. I love the Pearl Crush era. I think it's sort of like this edgy, cool look 
um, that Chanel had during that time. Uh, and I don't remember what season this was from, but one of it during that time. And it's got gauche red. So this one is not caviar, this is lambskin. And we've got sort of antique brush gold hardware. We've got the sort of same zipper like this one here. Um, I think this is like a small makeup bag. Maybe that was the name. And the bottom has no feet as well. And no back pocket. It's, you know, built in very similarly. Uh, but it's just one longer, one shorter. And, you know, during that time, these little mini bags were quite a hit. They were very popular and they came out in every season in lots of different colors and combinations. And um, even the zipper is a sort of brush gold. And the rings are also antique gold you can see and same with the chain and this chain has sort of a different hardware um to the standard chain so it is brush gold you're right but it's a different vibe if you know what i mean so this is like more the classic flap chain and this chain just sort of reminds me of my mini square denim chain was sort of just Dinner, and it also reminded me a little bit of like the Gabrielle Chanel multiple chains. It's just sort of thinner in width, whereas this is a bit thicker. But I mean, that might just be what I think and not the real thing. It doesn't look like it's thicker, but that's what I feel it is. And as you probably, ooh, as you probably know, the Pearl Crush is adjustable length that's a little chanel there and you can sort of pull in and out like that so you press on it and i'm going to use my right hand to do that there you go you press on it and then you can sort of move the chain in and out to shorten or lengthen the bag so the insides once again is very similar to the other one, very simple. Um, as you open up, made in Italy again, there's a little uh, um, lipstick holder and that's the chain bit. Inside is fabric, not leather, in a light sort of beige colour and, and that's all to the bag. And I think this bag is very cute, it's very chic, it's like this little cute accessory that you have when you um, go around with it and especially with the Pearl Crush, I like the part that it dangles this extra ball when you have it on and I think that's very nice and very cool. The only thing about this bag is because it is lambskin, I am much more cautious with it so I'm a bit scared to bring it out sometimes. And it was so hard to get when I was trying to buy this during that time that I was very, I was really babying it because I was so scared that I'll not get it again and not get another one. So that was the only really cons to it. I used to have the Samsung sort of flip phone, the one that you can fold, and that phone would fit right into this bag. Um, I don't know if I still have an older version of that phone. I think I might have have it no i'm back and i don't have the phone anymore but i used to have the phone and it would fit in both these bags perfectly and i could close it and it would um you know i don't have to think about having my phone in my hand but now i have a big phone so that really doesn't matter anymore uh, so the built wise is very similar just one's a bit wider and chubbier cuter and that the other one is like the tall and slim bag and it's you know for different function but if you're a mini bag person again if you don't bring a lot of stuff like me I think these two bags are great and I really like it um, especially this one I definitely do use this one more and I think that's because it's caviar leather I feel like if this was in caviar as well, I might be bringing this a bit more. But I think because this fit definitely fits less, um, I would bring this out a bit more. And I've definitely used this much more than I expected myself to be using. So would recommend this definitely. Uh, I hope you find this video helpful. And again, if you want a more in-depth 
um, review of these two bags, please let me know. Please like and subscribe to my channel and to this video. It will be really, really helpful to me and be an encouragement to me to keep making these videos. I do have a full-time job, so I sort of make this in my own time and as out of my interest as well. I hope you find this video helpful and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!